Hey guys, let's take a look at these Radio Shack solar panels. Well, the deal was, around the holidays last year, Radio Shack sends out a uh, $10 off thing in the mail. They usually do it every year. And they had these 4.5 volt solar panels, uh, 1.5 watt, 4.5 volt output each, solar panels. And there's Snickers making this cameo in my video, as usual. Right, Snickers? And he's bored with it all. <laughs> well, anyway, I went and bought these panels for about 10 bucks each. They're around 15 bucks, and with the discount, I got got them for 10 bucks each. That is not a bad price, but nowadays, yeah, it's kind of getting expensive. Okay, my batteries quit in the camera, so here I am again. But anyway, I went and got these panels. Like I said, they're four and a half uh, volt panels, one and a half watts each. So twenty bucks, mm, not really worth it now, because you can go online on eBay and buy like a five watt panel for twenty bucks. If you buy a number of the individual cells, you can get them for under a buck a watt nowadays. And uh, even fully assembled panels are not too much over a buck if you buy higher wattage and maybe a quantity of them. Not too bad. But uh, if you buy like a lower power, you know, fully assembled panel, you can get them for around two bucks a watt you know if you uh, buy something under a hundred watts but you know the lower you go the price does go higher now here's what Radio Shack does now they want twenty dollars for one panel it's like eighteen ninety nine plus tax so you'll, you'll be paying over twenty dollars for one of these panels now I wanted to make a 12 volt panel by having three of these it'd be like 13 and a half volts you want to go a little bit higher anyway but I found out they want 20 bucks for one panel and I just said oh, screw it I'll just uh, you know just put these in a box here so I made a little acrylic box for it mounted them in there put the little uh, Schottky diode in there to block it and it's a low drop type diode so I don't lose much efficiency doing that so nice and sealed and I've used it outside for several days and it works pretty good yeah really haven't had a super sunny day it's always been hazy or a little bit overcast not real strong sun like today you know, right now we're kind of under this cloud, so not getting very strong sunlight. But I'll go out and hook this thing up and see what, see what I get here with the LED lamp. Okay, I have the panel propped up. I have a little jack so I can plug the connector in here, plug the cord in. The sun's a bit stronger now. I mean, it's still not really full sun. Still got some kind of light clouds overhead. I have the Samsung reflector type LED. It's rated 4 watts. And uh, it's pretty bright. I mean, we're getting a lot of daylight. Plus the overhead fluorescent. Lights up the room pretty nicely. I mean, if it was dark, it certainly would light the room up nicely. But what I can do is take some LEDs and make little panels, and I can put them in rooms that don't have windows, like in uh, the bathroom, and uh, light it up during the day. Or I could 
make a miniature battery type system with a little charge controller and some batteries I can use that could power LEDs in the evening or night. That's one thing I could use uh, do with that little panel. I mean, we're only talking three watts of power here. But uh, it seems to deliver its rated power, so that's good. However, it, I just don't think it's worth 20 bucks per panel. It's just too expensive. Well, that's it. Stay tuned, and I'll uh, give a review of this other panel, that 30-watt panel I'm getting off of eBay. That should be here in a few days. And until then, thanks for watching.